In this Technology Explained video, we're going to uncover the mystery behind cam timing. We will cover important cam timing terminology including intake opening, intake closing, exhaust opening, overlap, and exhaust closing. You will often hear the camshaft dubbed the heart or brain of a performance engine. One of the main reasons for this is the dramatic effect the valve timing events have on a four-stroke internal combustion engine. Our goal is to show the effect of each valve event and how you can tailor these to the requirements of your engine. Let's begin with intake opening where overlap begins, which is very critical to vacuum, throttle response, emissions, and gas mileage. The exhaust stroke of the piston has pushed out nearly all of the burned mixture, and as the piston approaches the top, the intake valve opens, starting a siphon effect through the chamber. This occurs at the end of the exhaust stroke. Intake closing is the most important valve event. The piston goes all the way to the bottom, and as it starts back up, the intake valve rushes to the seat. The closing point of the intake valve will determine where the cylinder begins to build pressure, as we are now into the compression stroke. Earlier intake closings will trap more air in the chamber at low speeds, making better low RPM torque. Later intake closings give the air more time to enter the chamber at higher RPM. Thus far, we have discussed the intake valve events. We will now move on to the exhaust side. Exhaust opening occurs near the middle of the power stroke, after the spark plug is fired and the flame front has expanded, pushing the piston downward. Once the exhaust valve is open, the exhaust begins exiting the chamber and cylinder pressure drops rapidly. The combustion pressure is now used to force the burned mixture out of the exhaust. During the exhaust stroke, the remaining exhaust gases will be pushed out by the piston, making room for the next charge of the air-gas mixture. The later the exhaust opens, the more low RPM torque you gain by lengthening the power stroke. The earlier the exhaust opens, the more the power curve will carry past the point of peak horsepower, due to both reduced exhaust pumping losses and the exhaust having more time to free itself of the chamber. The exhaust valve begins to close just after the piston starts downward. Meanwhile, the intake valve is opening quickly. This is called the intake stroke where the engine breathes in and fills itself with another charge of air-fuel mixture. This action begins the cycle again. Finally, we will discuss overlap. During this period, both valves are open, allowing the intake and exhaust systems to affect one another. This is called overlap. Here, the intake and exhaust systems communicate, resulting in a complex system where small changes on one side can greatly affect the other. An engine's overlap requirements are highly dependent on the design of the combustion chamber, air inlet, and exhaust systems. Once the piston passes through top dead center and starts back down, the intake charge is pulled in quickly so the exhaust valve must close at exactly the right point to keep burned gas from re-entering while not allowing too much of the good inlet charge to escape with the exhaust. We hope you now have a better understanding of your engine's cam timing. For more information, visit us online at compcams.com, at cpgnation.com, or check out the CompCams Master Catalog. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook.